Ever wonder what you could do with an Uno R3, a Chapino demo shield, and some graphical programming software? Well, stay tuned, and I'll show you right here at Chuck Hollabuck's Electronic Products. This video is sponsored by Zod, the visual programming language for Arduino microcontrollers. The Zod IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, can be run right in a browser. But if you want to actually program an Arduino module, then you need to download the desktop IDE. You sign up with an email, set a username and password, and then from there you can download for Windows, Mac, or Linux the IDE. Here's a screen capture of the actual IDE. This is what it looks like and where you'll build your program. So let's do an example. I'm going to use my Chapino demo shield, plug it into an Arduino R3, plug in the USB cable to my computer, and now I'm ready to create my first project. In the top menu, I click on File, New Project, and that creates a tab for me to build on. Now on the left here are all the code blocks that I can use. I'm going to go into Common Hardware and look around. I'm looking for an LED, but you can see it's got a real-time clock, thermometer, all kinds of code blocks. So i got to scroll down to here, here's the LED. Every code block has this menu on the right. If you click on it and then click help, it'll give you a full explanation of what the code block does and what its pin connections are. This LED module does more than just light an LED. It'll actually dim an LED automatically. We're just going to use it as a basic LED. And so I'll drag it into my design here, into the work area. And now I need to set it up. When I click on it, I see it has a port setting. I set it to pin 13, which is where my LED is. And I set luminance to 1 to give me full brightness. Now I close that and I go to the core menu. I want to find a square wave generator to make this thing flash. You can see it's got analog inputs, it's got mathematical arctan, all kinds of things. I'm going to scroll down to the S's and here's a square wave generator. I'll click on the menu and then help and this thing is really complicated but I really only need the top two. The number which is the frequency and then the duty cycle. Duty cycle will tell you how long it stays high versus how long it stays low. So I'll grab the square wave generator, drop it into my design, and I'll set the frequency to 1 and the duty cycle to 0.5. So it's 1 pulse per second at a 50% duty cycle. And then I'll make a connection from the output to the input of the LED. And then I'm ready to upload this. So I click on Deploy, Upload to Arduino, select my Arduino module, select my serial port, and click Upload. The bottom of the screen will show the process. It's building the code and then it's going to load it into the Arduino. And when it's done, it says uploaded successfully. And then when you check your module, well, here's mine. Pin 13 LED is flashing. It's that easy to get an LED to flash. The demo shield has a couple momentary switches. So I went into the common hardware and I found this button block. When I looked at its function, it's designed for a momentary switch pulled high by a resistor. Exactly what I've got. I'll drag that button into the design right next to the square wave generator. So this is all in one design. And then i got to set the button to pin 8 because that's the connection that my momentary switch is on. Now I want to go back and get another LED. Now you can copy and paste the other one. That's another way to do it. But I drag this one in. And this LED I have on pin 10. So I set it to pin 10, luminance to 1. And now I just connect the output of the button to the luminance pin on the LED. And this should allow me to turn the LED on and off via that push button. So I'll click on Deploy, Upload to Arduino, click on Upload, Deployment goes, and then it says Uploaded Successfully. Now if you notice, I press the button and the LED comes on. At the same time though, my previous program is running. It's flashing the red LED. So let's add a third program. This time I'm going to use Analog Input. So this is great if you're reading any kind of analog to digital converter port. This module, instead of a 0 to 255 value, puts out a 0 to 1 value. I have a light sensor connected to analog pin 1. So I'm going to drop the analog input into the design. I'm going to copy and paste two LEDs. I'll set the LEDs to pin 11 and pin 12, the last two LEDs on my shield. The analog input, I'm going to say 1 for analog pin 1. Now we need some logic. 
I want one that says greater and another one that says less than. So I click on help and this is perfect. If input one is greater than input two, you get a high, otherwise you get a false or low. So I'll drag and drop that in. Now I gotta go find a less than. And here we go, there's a less than. It's basically the same block except it's a less than. I In one is less than in two. So this is gonna set a threshold one to light one LED versus the other. I'm gonna set it to a 0.5 value on both of them. So when it's above 0.5 it'll be the left LED and when it's below 0.5 it'll be the right LED. I'll connect the analog input to both greater than and less than and then connect greater to one LED and less to the other. Now I'm ready to build the code. So deploy, upload to Arduino, click upload, deployment happens, uploaded successfully, now let's test it. You can see the green LED is lit, the yellow is not. And when I put a piece of paper over the sensor, it switches. Yellow is lit, green is not. So that's working great. And now look at the push button switch is working independently of the light sensor and the flashing LED. I'm used to writing code out in text form. So this type of programming was a little bit different for me, but it didn't take me long to make these simple programs work. And I can see there's some very powerful code blocks in Zod. I am really impressed with some of the code blocks that I found inside this thing and I want to do more with it. So let me know in the comments below if you use it and what you think of Zod. Do you want to try out Zod with your Arduino? Just go to the description of this video. I have a direct link to their website. It's a free download. Give it a try. If you want to check out the demo shield, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebox Electronic Products and Filament Friday.